गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ टू द पॉइंट टूडे टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज क्लाइमेट फाइनेंस टेक्सोनॉमी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट सी वाइज इट इन द न्यूज प्रेजेंटिंग द यूनियन बजट फॉर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर ट्वेंटी फाइव फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर निर्मला सीतारमन अनाउंस्ड दैट द गवर्नमेंट वुड डेवेलप अ क्लाइमेट फाइनेंस टेक्सोनॉमी टू एनहेंस the availability of capital for climate adaptation and mitigation this will help india achieve its climate commitments and green transition now let's discuss about climate finance taxonomy it is a system that classifies which parts of the economy may be marketed as sustainable investments it refers to a set of standardized regulations and guidelines to inform companies and investors on making impactful investments towards environmental conservation and combating the climate crisis taxonomies for sustainable climate financing in general include a detailed list of economic sectors and activities and corresponding criteria that determine if it aligns with larger climate goals now let's understand why is climate finance taxonomy important climate financing forms a core area of combating the climate crisis according to the un framework convention on climate change first needs determination report financing of around 5.8 to 5.9 trillion dollars is required to implement developing countries climate action plans by 2030 and this does not fully include adaptation cost climate finance taxonomies can facilitate financing for investors and credit institutions based on how climate aligned an entity or an activity is it can therefore direct financial resources towards projects that support climate change mitigation and adaptation for india a taxonomy could bring in more climate funds from international sources According to the International Finance Corporation, India needs an estimated 10.1 trillion dollars to achieve net zero by 2070. Many countries like China, Malaysia and Sri Lanka have already issued green taxonomies to facilitate climate sensitive investments. Now what has India done to set up a green taxonomy? In January 2021, India established a task force on sustainable finance under the Department of Economic Affairs, Ministry of Finance. This task force will create a framework for sustainable finance in India, establish the pillars for a sustainable finance roadmap, suggest a draft taxonomy of sustainable activities, and create a framework of risk assessment by the financial sector. The Reserve Bank of India joined the Central Banks and Supervisors Network for greening the financial system as a member. Now let's discuss that what are India's climate commitments. India aims to achieve a net zero economy by 2070. It has also pledged to reduce the emissions intensity of its GDP by 45% by 2030 from the 2005 level. India is committed to achieve about 50% cumulative electric power installed capacity from non-fossil fuel based energy resources by 2030 as well. Now is the time for practice question. Consider the following statements about climate finance taxonomy. One it is a system that classifies which parts of the economy may be marketed as sustainable investments. Two India established a task force on sustainable finance under the Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? One only, two only, both one and two or neither one nor two. Send the answer of this question in the comment section. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching. For more informative content like share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications